Hey guys, Brito here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to something a little bit different. This is the uh, 410 Street Car Grand Slam presented by Hervey Bay Auto Glass, hosted by so Race on Oz. John, be ready to go out after Scott. So we're currently doing um, yep. hot laps or time trials, and then Darren be ready so after Scotty John, Butler's please. be going out first. Yep. I'll um probably try and get rid of this overlay. There we go. Makes it a little bit hard when I've got other screens up, so... Actually, to be honest, I'm probably... Yeah, we need to fast forward it. I'm on replay, unfortunately. So, 11-2 for his first lap. Comes home with 11-2-9-3 for his second. Hey, John, you alright? I might just, um leave the overlay there. So second card to be able to be John Schultz number 74. If we click on him. 78 he is here, so it's not the number that I've got. So we've still his first lap. 11.350. Second lap, crosses the line, 11 triple two. So Darren Palmada, number right, 96, Darren, with the next car on track. Right, Gordo, you're almost up. Um, I will apologize as well, I have to have Discord open to hear race control and that sort of stuff, so you might hear other people um, while talking in the background and that sort of stuff. Darren's coming out for his first flying lap now. Across the line with 11.379. Second lap. Across the line now with 11.338. So Ryan Gorton, uh, Ryan, you ready? 17, which is not there. Where is yep. he? Uh, James Rice, you want to be up next? Three, number two for some reason. Then Aaron Wilton. So I'll have to get ready soon on a car number eight out on track, so... Brian Gordon. Okay, too easy. Brian Gordon's out there now. Starting his first lap. Just to let you know, Bob, um, Kyle may or may not make it. Okay. Across the line with 117, seven, so not a pretty time at all. Hopefully he can improve in his second lap. Eleven two nine five, so much better there. Second lap. So James Rice is next out, the number five. Okay, James. For Triple J Motorsports. Aaron, you're ready. You're up, Nick. Yeah, I'm ready to go. See what sort of time James was down. He's usually pretty quick. Across the line, eleven three one nine. Second lap now. With eleven five two four, so next to be Aaron, Aaron Wilson on track, up, but um, um Brito. I'm gonna have to get ready, so we'll gonna start getting ready. Move up and to the Mitch end. as well after that. Quick look, 11 triple two is what we're aiming for. I don't know if we'll be able to get that, but um, we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. You can see the pace truck there in the rearview mirror there, um, our safety car. So it'll be a safety car or caution will be called and um, the pace truck will go out on track and we'll follow him around. Yep, you're right, bro. I um, yep. Got a crack now, see what we can do, I suppose. Alright, Carl, I'm on. start your ready, ready. And then James Robbie after that. Alright, we're at you. Back to where we need to be. 
Bloody shocking. Where are we? Seventh. Terrible time. Yeah, we'll jump back out now and we will. Uh, who are we looking at now? It'll be Mitch Simmons, so 078. Hopefully, we've got a bit of. Um, you're out there, Mitch, or? Better pace. Get there. No, I'm yeah, I'm coming down to the start now. I'm going to quickly have to get rid of the overlay so I can go in and change my setup. Guys, can't see that unfortunately. Um, 10 gallons of fuel should be enough. Yep, you're on first Mitch. I'm before James. Yep. So we've got Mitch coming out now, so we'll quickly bring that oh, back you up. You just go out now, James and Mitch, you go do another lap on the infield if you want. Oh no, just go, Mitch. Mitch is on track. Sorry. Eventually. So his first time probably won't count. 11.926 and now he's blinking out pretty bad, so... Something might be using a bloody control as well, to be honest. 11.696. We're putting it in the fence. So now James Robbie, the number 41, will be next on track. All right, yeah, you're right, James. All right, Alan, you want to get ready now? So, what's that? Luke Muir. It's first lap here for first lap here for James Robbie, I should say. Tacken. Eleven point five. Ran through second lap. Eleven four two five. So next driver will be Alan Tacken, number 21. Hogs Breath sponsored machine. Am I good to go out now? Yep, Alan, yep, you're right to go out. And it'll be Luke Muir, the triple five after him. And I Luke, apologize for the overlay out after noise, Alan, it's okay? just um, a little bit easier to have the overlay up. Like 11 489. Connor's not here. Um, Second lap. Yeah, no, he's in hospital. His mum's been hit by a car. Oh, Doesn't sound good. 11 341. Second lap there for Alan Tacken. Now to be Luke Muir and the triple five for Race on Oz. Alright, you're right, Luke. New sponsor on board there, as you can see. Trackstar Racewear. It's a new official dirt sponsor. Make sure you guys um, uh, Google it, Anthony, check them out, get any race gear or anything like right that. After Luke. Make sure you mention Race on Oz if you go to order stuff. Yep. So Luke's coming around for his first lap here. It's not very pretty at the moment. First lap will be 11 8. And then, are you in here, George? Yep. Oh, George, you're out after Anthony. So Anthony will be the next one out in the 39 car. He was across the line, 11 6. Not the best, but here comes KRT sponsored machine, Kimmy's Rule Fencing. Sorry, KRF Motorsports, I think it is. That 39 of is Anthony Luke Green. clear of the track? Or? Yep, yep, you're right, Anthony, came out. And George, if you want to line up, you're out next. Um... He's going to come out of four, start his first lap. Then, Brian, you're out after George. Yeah, Brian Shepard. Yep. Cover. Eleven 
11 7 for his first lap. Coming into three. Pretty good line through there. Can you get the exit? Yeah, Looking out of four. 11 5 8 1. With George Fulton now on the 500 machine. For Gavin Sadler Racing, I think that's who he's racing for. Sponsored yeah, by FK AU. Racemerch.com.au. So he's struggling to get out of the pits a little bit there. Next car will be Brian Shepard. After George has finished on track. He's going around to start his first lap now. Bit of a higher line here in one and two. And then Alan Solit, you're up after Brian. It's high getting three and four, maybe mid track three and four. Across the line with 11 5. Staying high, getting one and two. Exiting out the middle of the track. High entrance, three and four. Exiting out the middle again. Just final lap. 11.525 there for George Fulton. So Brian Shepard will be next out. Number 26. Yep, you're right, Brian. Sponsored by Hogsbreath as well. Around to start his first lap now. Number 26 machine. It's high in one and two. High in three and four. First lap's 11, six, six, eight. <coughs> high getting one and two. Change it up three and four, yeah. Low groove. Crosses the line for 11, four, five, one. Okay, you're right now, Alan. Alan, the number Head six. Out. We'll be next yep. on track. 17. Sean O'Hara, you're up next, and then Josh Rogers is after Sean. First lap here for Allen. High again in one and two for Allen. Three and four. Same run in the high groove. Eleven six for the first lap. Probably mid track there in one and two, mid track again three and four. Gonna cross the line and grab an eleven six five seven. So we Sean O'Hara next in the zero twenty four. Once again for Gavin Sadler Racing. Hey. Sponsored by FKAU and oh, um, yep, also racemerch.com.au For his first lap now. The 024 pink machine. Mid groove. One and two. Mid groove again, three and four. It's across the line with 11, four, seven, one. Is it just me or is some people blinking? Oh, lower there in one yet. and two. Lower getting three and four. Hey Bob, Stephen wants to know, can he come in and race with us? 11-3-1-3 for his second lap there for Sean. Josh nah, Rogers at number 92. Nah, it's a bit late, sorry now. Yeah, TTL machine. Sure. Yeah. Sponsored by Ash Media, Down Under Graphics. Um, who was next? Sorry, that was Sean. Who was up next? Uh, yeah, Josh, you're right to go Joshy out. Josh Rogers on his way out. if you want to start lining up. Oh, Bob, uh, Stephen said sorry about before too, mate. That's right. He's going to come around and start his first lap. Just low line there in three and four. Crosses the line, 11, four, eight, one. Low line again in one and two. You hold it low again, three and four, middle groove that time. Cross the line, 11 2 7 0. Beautiful yep. time there by Josh Rogers. So Vince 0 77. Okay, Vince, you're right to go out now. So Josh Rogers is in second, so just still John Schultz on pole. Um, and Scotty Butler third. Zach, do you want to start lining up? Uh, where are we? And Ooh, Dean, you're right, Dean, you're right up way behind. So that's Vince Romeo on track now, the zero, zero, triple, seven, zero, double, seven. Well, triple screens is paying off. Right? You can sit there cafe. beside the track and see the whole track. Ramfrey's first lap now. 
11.407 for his first lap for Vince. Pretty good sign up. Next lap, he's holding it pretty low in 3 and 4. Should get good power down. 11.339 for Vince. Well done. So Zach's going to come out now in the 95 machine. Zach. Once again, Race on Oz. Sponsored by Trackstar Racewear. Not a very good exit out of four. Just hold the mid groove there in one and two. Low groove in three and four. Low is pretty treacherous around this track. Across the line with 11.6. Low groove's got a weird little bump which tends to push the car into the outside wall and exit. It's pretty tough. That's the reason why I ran mid groove in my laps. 11.429 for Zach there in the 95. Yeah, now the 99 of Dean Thrower, once again sponsored by Hulk's Breath. Alright, Clay, you're out after Dean. In line up. Starting his first lap now. Yep. Fairly low there in one and two. And Cam, hello, you're out after Clay. Low again in three and four. Not a great exit. Still on 11.337, so he's definitely got a bit more pace in there if you can get a good exit out of four. Right up. Oh, I think he went a little bit too high in one and two. Running the mid groove in three and four. Crosses the line with 11.396. Yep. So next out, out, out uh, is Clay, sorry. 55 of Clay Seaborn. Once again, Race on Oz. Trackstar Raceware sponsored machine, the number 55. Come around now. Start his first lap. Very high there in one and two. Mid groove there in three and four. Needs to move down a little bit. He's going to get a quick time. 11 9. Still too high again in one and two. Mid groove there, three and four. Cross the line with 11 6 3 9. So next is Cameron Holler in the 11. I might do a right, uh, cam. Gyro, no, uh, gyro Brandon Schultz, no you line we'll up now. Cockpit view here with Cameron Holler. For his couple and of laps. Ryan Hinchcliffe after Brandon. Cover that. You should go high here in three and four to get a good run. In the turn one. Evolution Racing Team number eleven. Good, good run there in one and two. Pretty low there in three and four. You can see the car push towards the outside wall. 11.263 that time. Big push there in one and two again. Gonna go low again in three and four. Massive push to the outside wall. Plows the wall there. 11.329. Next will be the 93 of Brandon Schultz. Gonna go to TV1 and quickly have a look. Um, Cam's put in second spot there. Good job there. I said the 93 is on track now. It's Oxford Cafe Machine. Brandon Schultz. Starting his first lap. Now, very high there in 3 and 4. What are we doing? That to get a good run here in his second lap, which he is. He's low there in 1 and 2. Probably low again in 3 and 4. Probably not low enough. Should still be a good time though. 11 1 or 9 2 for Brandon. Puts it on pole. Right, we go to the 0 7 of Ryan yeah. Hinchcliffe. The track star race where race on Oz 410 sprint car machine. Good luck, Brando. Very good luck there by Brandon. Ryan's coming out for his first lap now. We're not the best exit there. 11 6 3 8 for his first lap. He needs to get a better exit out of four. He's going to improve that time. 11 5 6 8. So he improved right, a little Steve, bit, but not right. much. Next is Steve Cass. Or Cass. Mark. Turn line up. And Mark Lee will be out. Second last car, and then Brad Cooper and will be Brad last Cooper. car on track. So it's a 98 here of the Hogsbreath Cafe machine. 
Steve Kass. Starting his first lap now. Front of the middle line of one and two. Middle line again, three, four. 11.404. Time there for Steve in 14th spot at the moment. See if he can improve on his second lap. Eleven three one seven moves on to eighth spot. Well done, Mark Lee. Number sixteen is next. Another track star race where race on Oz Mark, four ten right. machine here. The second last driver here, Mark Lee. The last driver on track will be Brad Cooper. First lap 11, 9 2 2. Okay, Brad, head up. So Brad's the next one out, the 0 93. Quickly have a look at him. For Dirt Division, I oh, can't really read. BJC Racing, I think he's for. We're starting his first lap now. Across the line, 11.326 puts him in 10th spot. Pretty good lap. He's coming around for his final lap now. Coming out of four, right up against that outside wall, 11.335. So that's um, time trials done and dusted, guys. So we'll have a look at the results. Pretty guys, that's everyone. Um, we just want to give us 10 minutes and we'll work out the points and we'll start sending people out for the heats, okay? Yeah, so we're doing heat soon, guys. So um, Brandon Schultz ben, on pole, John Schultz second, Can Cameron Holler third, Josh Rogers, Scotty Butler, Ryan Gordon, Sean O'Hara, yeah, Steve Cass, James Rice, Brad Cooper, Dean Thrower, Darren Palmida, Vince Romeo, Aaron Wilton, Alan Tacken, James Robbie, Zach Masters, Brian Shepard, myself in 19th, so way down the order. George Fulton there, 20th. Ryan Hinchcliffe, Anthony yeah, J. Green, record, Luke guys, Newark, Brendo and Clay Seaborn, uh, Alan Solis. Got up at five o'clock. Mitch Simmons, to, Mark uh, Lee, races, Steve Sharp. Oh. See, oh, that's Brandon. And <clears throat> well, that one's Steve. Steve. Pretty keen. Cameron Holler's ping is through the roof. I'm wishing stayed in bed after Brando's time. <laughs> Cam Holler, your ping's through the roof, mate. Jesus fuck. I chose Gizzy set up. Fourteen hundred. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I was down I didn't choose it. Fucking took the wrong setup out. Yeah. Apologies for the language there, but anyway. <laughs> One of the race on Osboys using his language again. That's no good, mate. Nah. Uh, so we're going to have to wait it's now. I'll we'll, um, pause the video here, guys, and we'll come back when we're ready to start the heats. So don't go anywhere. We'll get it. Can be a good race, but actually. Right, hey guys, we're back we'll ready for in? the heats. Um, Hope so. I have to quickly mute those guys. So we'll see down the bottom corner here where the chat is green, green, green. So it's green, off they go. So Ryan's on pole for this heat, heat number one. Uh, we might change the camera view to camera three so we'll see a bit more of the action. Uh, very high there. Uh, coming out of two, it's Vince Romeo's in second. Go back to James Robbie in third, Mitch Simmons in fourth. Battle back here with Luke Muir, just ahead of Stephen Kass. Luke Muir was trying to get ahead of uh, George Wilson here in the 500. James Robbie is having a good battle here with the over 78 Rich Simmons. We've still got Vince Romeo trying to chase down Ryan Gordon here in front. Ryan Gordon's pulled out a pretty big lead at the moment. A battle going back here with James, or sorry, Luke Muir, George Fulton, Steve Cass. Oh, they've come together, Cass and Fulton, both still going though, luckily. So we'll go forward now. So Luke Muir is still running well, get rid of these cars from the pits. Simmons is in third, Vince Romeo is second, Ryan's still in first. Doing a very good job at the moment. Sure, 
sure how many laps to go. I haven't been counting at all. I think it's 12 lap peaks. Ryan's still in the first at the moment. Second is Vince Romeo. Mitch Simmons in third. We've got James Robbie, Luke Muir, and Steve Carsey here battling for the fourth, fifth, and sixth spot. George Fulton is still there in seventh. Anthony Green's way back there, all the way back in the last spot in eighth. So head back through George, still there. Steve's trying to make a move on the outside of Luke Muir now. Luke slid up the cover the spot, he's going back low. Steve's getting a bit of a bump there. Looks like it might be getting a bit tight up front. Vince has slowly run down Ryan, so they're not far away from each other at the moment. It's just right on his tail now. Coming out of four, white flag. So one to go, can Vince make a move here and get through on Ryan? I don't think he can now. Ryan, oh no, he must have run out of fuel. Vince has taken the win, Ryan's crossed the line second. Low on fuel, Mitch thirds. Uh, I have no idea if the rest of the standings work. It's a bit hard with this as being a full practice session, so. It's like Vince has taken the win though, so well done to Vince. Good right, guys, here we are for heat number two. We've got um, Scotty Butler on pole, Alan Tack on the outside. Row two, we've got James Rice, John Schultz. Row three, Cameron Holler, Brian Shepard. Row four, should be Alan Slid, Brian Hinchcliffe. Hinchcliffe, even. Row five is Darren Parmider and Aaron Wilton. So once again, we should see the pace truck pull into the pits. Then we should see um, the green, green, green down this bottom right-hand corner. Which will tell the guys when to go. See if Scotty Butler can get a good start here. There goes the pace truck. Pace truck's pulling away. We're coming into the pits, so we'll be going green this lap. Green, green, green. There we go. And they're off. Good start there by the 21 on the outside. Has Scotty hold the inside? Oh, I don't know if he will. So Alan Sackens had a pretty good start on the outside. Scotty's hit the slick there. Here comes Schultz down the inside. Scotty Butler. Cameron Holler's there in fourth. What? Cameron going to the wrong cars again. So Holler and Schultz battling for third at the moment. Holler's going around the outside if he can, and Schultz coming into three and four. It's going to be the high line, it's going to be the run now. That low line is pretty much going to be gone. Maybe one or two is still good, but three and four. Looking the greatest. Look back in the field. Here's James Rice on the outside of Cameron Holler now. He's made the pass, so he's up the fourth spot. Still go through the field. Alan Tacken still well and truly out in front. Followed closely. We can get there. Get the cameras right. Go back to the front. So Cameron Holler's trying to make move back on James Rice now. Still have a drum with these guys. There's cars in the pits. The camera wants to go to them and not the cars that I want on track. Scotty Butler's still in second. Johnny Schultz there in third. Cameron Holler and James Rice are having a good battle at the moment. Holler's down the inside of Rice. Can't make the move stick. Still trying the inside. It's going to be mighty slick when we get out on track. Schultz is still trying to get down the inside of Butler at the moment. James Rice is slowly catching up to them as well. Holler's not too far away. There's Schultz. Schultz has got really sideways there. He will lose a spot to Holler, I think. Now James Rice is on the back of Scotty Butler. Schultz and Holler are going side by side. White flag to last lap. Sackens well and truly out in front, but this is where the battle's at. James Rice is trying to get second spot away from Scotty Butler, but it's not going to happen. Schultz has done a slide job there in Holler. Unfortunately, he's Popped him up into the wall, I think, but no hollers pulled through and finished in fifth. So Tacken's going to take the win. Scotty Butler second, James Rice third. Pretty good race that time, guys. Heat two.
So we'll come back for Heat 3 and I'll be in the car starting in 5th position I think. So don't go anywhere, we'll be back very very soon. Alright guys, so we're starting so now, Heat 3. Out, starting in 3rd spot we are. Um, sorry. Ah, uh, you're out of... Yes, you shuffle up a row. So we're in a third spot at the moment, so we need a good point to finish here if we can. Uh, we'll do one more. Let's have a look. Um, horse feedback. Oh, right. Please Ooh. hold 40 mile an hour. Base car pull one back straight and pit. We'll go green this time. Right, right. So we're going to go green next time by. Just heard Bob say. 32.058. We can get a good clean start here. The first two heats have been pretty good starts, so. Car out front. We'll say green, 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 and we'll go. Wow. The leader didn't get a very good start then. Go to the high line again. We can lose. Caution. Yeah, caution. Uh, yellow is around. Yeah, we uh, pick up the pace car and turn one. Get back in front of Zach. So if I we were when the caution was called Buddha. I couldn't say. Uh, yeah, just, mate, just. Too easy, man. Is everyone aware of their freestyle positions or? It's pretty slick already. What happened there was just racing. Really? I'm asking what happened. Do I need to be reviewed? I'm not even sure what happened, to be honest. I don't know if it was me or someone else behind. I don't have a lot of seat time in these things recently. Uh, so a I'm bit of a racing incident. Bit. Both cars came. To, uh, one went up, one went down. Okay. Go one more pace lap. Pull enough this one. Not sure how many laps are to go, but it is race leader's fuel. choice when to go once the pace car is in the pit lane. Yeah, we'll be restarting on lap four. So lap four, so we've still got what, eight laps to go, I think. Not a very good race so far for me. Pretty shocking, actually. Not sure exactly what's happened there, but I think the two guys behind us had issues. We'll do a quick restart, we're only going to do one more. Caution lap. That's been a great heat compared to the others. So We're starting on lap six. Halfway through. Alright, place in this lap. Yep. Well, I got a bit of damage, uh, damage, a bit of damage on um, that start when Brad didn't go. It's up to the leader, go when he wants to go from now.
slow job there to get up in the fourth. Click on exit. So you got to try and stay above the sticker stuff. Into the race or not. I haven't seen a checker come out yet, but I thought that was it. I haven't seen a checker come out yet, so we're still running. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, check it. My bad. Uh, <laughs> I thought I pressed it, but I didn't. Right there guys, well that's us done. I think we finished in fourth in um, hey that, guys, um, that. Um, heat, so we'll come back and ready to go for heat four. Like. Right there guys, we're back. Here we are for heat number four. It's going to be Steve Kass coming out of the one spot. Luke Miro on the outside of the front row. Second row, Conor McCluskey, George Fullerton. Fifth row should be Sean McGinnis, and James Robbie, but Sean's not in, so I'm assuming one of the drivers will move up. Anthony Green should be um, inside third row. So fourth row will be Mitch Simmons on the inside, Vince Romeo on the outside, and Brian Gorton will be starting in the last spot on the outside. There we go, there, Green. Although Steve didn't get a great start. Looks like he's going to drop back to third here. Oh, not even me. Oh, it's a big wreck at the moment. Huge wreck. It's going to be a caution. Let's quickly go back and have a look and see what's happened there. Actually slow it down and have a good look. Oh, it looks like the triple five's been bumped. Oh, then again, it looks like he might have got a bit, got into the slicker stuff and then caused a bump, then got into the 98 of Cass. Got up in the outside wall, cleaned up by the number 500 of George. The number two's cleaned him up as well, and so is the 39 by the looks of it. So, unfortunately, that's brought out the first caution. See if we can get to the lead car eventually. There you go, James Robbie. And let's fast forward now to get back to live footage. Now the car should slowly be catching back up. So I'm not sure what they're going to do with that. We're not actually in the server to find out, so. Unfortunately, Steve started on pole but didn't get a good start, so and now it looks like he may be out of the race. I don't know if he's allowed to get a reset or not. Um, three, six, seven. There's seven cars on track at the moment. There should be nine, so there might be two guys that are out. So, Luke Muir is still in at the moment, but um, James Robbie has come from six to jump up into first spot. Muir just behind. George Fulton's in third at the moment. Bit of go green this time by. There goes Robbie. Great start. Pulled a massive gap. Yeah, to the cars behind. Big run back here. Luke Mills on the outside. Butler's on the inside. George is still there for third. Butler's still down the inside. George is. Whoa. That's clipped. Luke Muir there. So there's another car know, blinking or going around or something. So there's another caution. So I think that was Muir, triple five. Let's have a look, see what's actually happened there. He's been involved yet again. So he's on the outside. He's just turned in mid groove, sort of got in the slicker stuff with the rears. George has got a bit of momentum and just given him a bit of a bump and turned him to the inside. Straight into that gap there and jammed his car, caught his car in the fence. 
But then George has continued on. Still slice, slideways, slideways a little bit. And then Scotty Butler, or sorry, Ryan Gorton, I should say. He's still there up in the second spot at the moment. So we'll quickly fast forward to get back to the live action. James should be catching the pace car. There we go. And they've just gone green, so we've just missed it. But Robbie's still in the lead. Ryan Gorton's in second. Battle back here for third, Vince Romeo, George Fulton. So George is still getting a little bit loose, just as we were. A little bit of a struggle. The house of the track's getting up to start running higher and higher. We should go back to the front now. We've got Gordon. Get to the front, that is. Um, wait, this car to get through. There we go. Gordon slowly catching up to the back of Robbie. Can Ryan make a pass though? It's going to be a bit hard. He's going to have to go for a slide job in one of the corners. Throw it in low and slide it up in front of him. Ryan just did not get a good run then. Go to cockpit view while we're here and have a look and see what he's doing. Running just above the slick. He's getting loose on exit. So last lap now. So Robbie's going to take the win. Back to TV3 view. So Ryan's going to come across the line in second spot. Here comes Vince Romeo in third. Mitch Simmons in fourth. Uh, George Walton in fifth. And Anthony Green in sixth. So if you guys didn't finish the race there, but Robbie, uh, find out what car number he is. He's taken the win, 41. So that's good for him. Radio right, guys, we'll uh, come back and we're ready to go for heat number five. So don't go anywhere. Radio right, guys, here we are for heat number five. We've got Aaron Wilson on the inside front row, Darren Palmada on the outside front row, Ryan Hitchcliffe and Alan Salit, second row, Brian Shepard, Cameron Holler, third row, John Schultz, James Rice, fourth row, Alan Tacken and Scotty Butler in the fifth row. So hopefully the guys can get a good start. They're going green this time. Right, I have to wait and see if the pace car pulls in. Your next lap, they go green, I think. Yep. Pace car is going to slowly pull away down the back straight, pull into the pits. There goes the pace car. So. Aaron's going to lead them away once it goes green. There we go, green. He's going to get the better start. It's going to be Darren on the outside. All the 07s has put someone in the fence. John's around. It's going to be a huge caution here. A fair few guys have spun. They're all still going, so they're all still going for now. Better pull. wasn't a caution that came up on this chat box down the bottom here but it's a fair incident back there we're not going to go back and look at the replay just in case we miss some more live action so one of the cars is in the pits I think that's um, John Schultz These guys will get lined up quick and we'll get going green again soon. We're going to come back in heat six and starting at a sixth spot. There's a few guys in the pits at the moment, not sure what's going on here. Maybe they're all going to do a reset and come back out. Well, that's what they're going to do, so of the incident and a few cars getting written off they're going to reset all the cars and come back out so all that's done guys is just made sure any guys that had damage have all been reset back on track um, they'll probably start from lap one again seeing as though the incident happened so early so all the cars are going to get a full reset another full tank of fuel for their 10 laps or 12 laps I should say and then they're going to come back and start again 
So is it a full reset? I don't think so. Actually it is, yeah, because Aaron's back on the front row, on the inside. So Darren should be on the outside of the front row. It's Cameron Holler in the 11, it should be in sixth spot. Not sure where these other guys are at the moment. They're gonna get into their positions, hopefully. They're all gonna work themselves out, so the inside should be Ryan Hinchcliffe in third spot. Here he is in third spot. Johnny Schultz should be in seventh spot, so, so Brian Shepard's going to have to come in front of him. Pace cars pulled away, so they don't sort that out soon. So I haven't yet. Well, someone's been given a penalty, but they're green. Good start there from Aaron. Carter watches the outside line. 96 is on the outside, so is the 25. Run off the inside though. Oh, so there's another big incident back there. Everyone's still running at the moment. And the leader, Brian Shepard's taking the lead. Just behind him is Aaron Wilton and then Darren Palmider. John Schultz is back there in fourth. Cameron Hollows on the outside, right against the wall. Trying to make a move. Up in the fifth spot. Aaron is still there in the second spot, holding well down the inside, so the inside line is starting to come good again. Looks like Brian Shepard is still going to be in the lead. It's only just in the lead, they're right up against the wall, there's a spinner on track. Not sure if they're going to call a caution there or not. There's nothing on the screen, but they're all still going. No, they've started to slow down, it's a caution. Looks like Brian Shepard's still going to be in first spot. Or maybe he won't be. Looks like Aaron's going to be taking the lead, I think, here. So Aaron will be in first, Brian Shepard will be second, Darren Palmider get back to the right people. Alan Tacken should be Cameron Holler, John Schultz, Scotty Butler, Alan Salitz, James Rice, all the way back there in fifth spot. So I'm not sure what Rice is doing all the way back there. No, we'll try and grab the next car. Aaron Wilton is going to be starting on pole. Well, not on pole, but starting the restart in first spot. Single file restart, so I'm not sure what the guys are doing at the moment. I think they're trying just to set up where people were. They're arguing over positions, but... They're still definitely fighting over positions. We're going to go green this time by. Aaron's going to have control of the pack. He should be doing 40 miles now. He's a little bit quicker at the moment. Up to 50 already. Got off to a pretty good start. Still trying to hold the low line though. So there must be something down there at the moment. All those big battles back in the pack there at the moment. So John Schultz is trying to fight for third. Here's Holler as well with a three-way battle for fourth. Still on the high side. With the 96 car just ahead of Darren Palmider. On the inside is the 21 of Alan Tacken. Can he make the move? Oh no, he's got too low there on the inside wall. Not sure if it's going to be caution or not. Run's still running hard, so I don't think so. 25 still going hard. John Schultz is up in a second now. So Aaron's having a good race at the moment. So it's Schultz second. Uh, not pull up. If I can get the camera on the right car. It's going to be wait. Could be wait. Brian Shepard in third. And he's hull up, fighting for third now. Both run on the high line. Holler needs to duck down low and give him a slide job, which he just has. Shepard's going to try and come back low. It's not going to work. Him and Scotty Butler have got together there. It's a white flag, though, but that's going to be the end of the race. Comes Alan Tacken across the line to take the win. Schultz should be second. 
And third will be... Somebody. Not Holla. I don't know who third was, but... Anyway, guys, that's um, number five. Heat number five. So we're going to come back for heat number six. We'll be on track starting out of six spots, so don't go anywhere. Alright guys, we're back. Here we are for heat number six, final heat. We'll go green on this lap. Starting in six spot, so we'll see what we can do at the moment. I think we get another good start. Better start than our first heat. We're going green this time, by it. Restart, watch that. Oh, that's a shock and start. Shock and start. Alright, pick up the pace car in the back straight. Complete restart. We'll do one lap and we'll go green. Go back into six spot. The guys just didn't want to go at all. Do we claim that as a lap or not? No, complete restart. Alright. Alright, keep head off, Steve. Car just doesn't want to turn right, full lock right, and it doesn't want to go. One, go. one lap and we're going green. Yep. Car Half inside. Clear inside. Just remember, green is well on the inside. text chat. Still on the left. Yeah, sorry, mate. Took a little bit for it to come through. Seven, six, two. Still Probably a little left. bit of lag, guys, when they hit the, actual, the chat button, like, for us to go green, 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 so. Depends on how good their connection is, I guess. Clear inside. Oh. Yeah, I'll Clear shot the start. Clear outside. 23.479. Caution. Clear outside. Stay right, stay right. Another caution. Yep, pick him up. 13.4. It's just seven, getting pretty slick at the moment. Look at that one, high line. That high line is shocking. Ten, two, one. Oh, no. All so right, has got uh, a fair bit of damage there, unfortunately. Right up single file. We're going to go racing. Whereabouts am I? Because I think these two um, race on Oscars got in front of me on the caution. I think. I'll go back and look at it, Ben. On it now. Going around again. Eight point one three one. Pull up on the back straight. Pull up, did you say? Yep, pull up. Single file. Gonna run out of fuel. No point wasting fuel driving around. True, true. Okay, so we got Clay in first. Yep. Rogers in second. <laughs> Reverse and turn it. Masters in third. Thrower in fourth, Schultz in fifth or fourth, then Mark Lee and Sean O'Hara is the spinning car, Cooper, Brito, and that's it. Wow, it's the second last. Alright, move off. Dude, gonna do the one lap and we're going green. Yeah, I'll be that. Starting lap two. Serious? <laughs> Not gonna have enough fuel. Very tired on fuel. Let's right, probably go to low line and just try and take it steady in the corners because there's so much slick stuff out here at the moment. Start is on leader's choice. Slow car ahead. Stay right, stay right. Car out front, clear out front. 23.212. Car out front, clear out front. Stay right, stay right. Car out front, clear out front. 
Clutch it here because we're gonna have to save fuel. So it goes Clay, or car 55, car 92, car 16's at the back of the grid, a lap down. Car 99, car 777. So we're in fourth. So you can. Car 93. 093 and car we got a good start here and stay low we should be okay thanks to whoever the 16 was I can hit the wall and then we restart on the start in this lap how many laps three to go two to go should be close. No, three, sorry. Okay. You're good, you set right. We got across the line in third there, I think. Just. Righto, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. We're going to come back for the B main, hopefully. So, don't go anywhere. Righto, guys. are back. This is the dash. So, top eight drivers are going to do an eight lap dash. And this is where they'll start the A main. So, the top eight. Well, this is the top. This, these top eight guys here will be the top eight in the A main. We'll have the B main coming up after this. It's a 20 lap race. And then the top four from the B main will go through to the A main, which is a 35 lap race. So John Schultz is starting on pole on the inside. And they're green, they're off. Great start on the outside. Brandon Schultz, right up against that wall. He's running really, really high. Brandon's still there on the outside, John is still on the inside, Cameron Holler's there back there in third. Go all the way back, to, well Rogers I should say, there, and then Brian Gordon's in fourth, Cameron Holler's in fifth. So James Robbie there in sixth, maybe making a move up for fourth now. Great job. Scotty Butler's back there as well, trying to make a move on Cameron Holler. Back there in the last spot is Vince Romeo. Renan's still in the lead. Big gap now. Back to second spot of Josh Rogers. He's got through on John Schultz. So third spot is John Schultz, as you can see there. James Rice is in fourth. Scotty Butler is in fifth. Ryan Gordon sixth. Cameron Holler seventh. And if you can get a hold of him, 
it's not gonna not gonna allow me to go back that far. Get it to work. And that's it, no, that must be a caution. So there's a car on his lid. I'm not sure who it was, but Vince Romeo is still at the back of the pack. Just ahead of him, we've got Scotty Butler, Brian Gordon, James Rice, Johnny Schultz, Cameron Hollers in. No, Cameron Hollers out. Must have been Holler on his lid. So Josh Rogers in second. And Brandon Schultz is still in first, so. So there's only seven drivers left in this at the moment. Holler being out, so he'll start. The A main from 8th position. So he can tack onto the back of the pack. I don't think he can because he's wrecked out. So it's like they're going to go green next lap. It's probably going to be like a green white check or something. Actually, they're going to pull up here. So I'm not sure what they're going to do. Maybe just work out where the guys were when the caution came out. Get the guys set up, ready for this last little dash to the end. That's Brandon Schultz, Josh Rogers, Johnny Schultz, James Rice, top four. Trying to work it out now and see who's where. Vince Romeo looks like he'll be in fifth spot. Unless, no, Scotty Butler's in sixth, Ryan's in seventh, so not sure what's happened there. Maybe Ryan was involved, so he's gone to the back of the pack. Holler, no, there's Romeo moving back to sixth spot now. Goes to the pace truck. Taking off into the pit, so Brandon Schultz has got control of the pack at the moment. And he goes. Good start there. Johnny Schultz is trying to get down the inside of Rogers. Scotty Butler's back in fourth. He's made a move there, and James Rice. Second flag, that's the end of the race. Looks like. Get up to the front. Eventually, Brendan Schultz has taken the win. Rogers second. Pretty sure it was Johnny Schultz in third spot. So that's the, the dash, guys. So we'll come back for the B main. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back very, very soon. Right, now, guys, here we are for the B main. We're not in the B main, we're actually in the A main. We're going to be starting in 14th spot. Surprisingly, I thought we were going to be in the B main, but change things up towards the end there. So Anthony Green and Alan Solit are on the front row. Sean O'Hara, Steve Cass, second row. Dean Thrower, Brian Shepard, third row. Zach Masters, Clay Seaborn, fourth row. Luke Muir, Ryan Hitchcliffe, fifth row. And Mark Lees in the sixth row all by himself at the back there. Hopefully they can get to good racing in here. Good start. 20 laps here, B main. Lanier Speedway. Green, off they go. Needs to start there by Anthony. It's a bit of a tight race there in the middle. So it wasn't Anthony who had a good start. It was Sean O'Hara that had a great start. Looks like there's a car spinning back there. Are they going to bring out a caution? It looks like they are. Unfortunately, I think when a car spins like that, they shouldn't be bringing out the caution. Just let them go unless there's two cars involved and actually stopping on track. But um, I'm not running the show, am I? Things have been going pretty good so far. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying it. So I do apologise about these overlays. I might um, might see if I can do something up before I upload these. I usually have the overlays on on the recording, but I haven't had time to do anything. I pretty much came home from work. Uh, grabbed a, cr a quick bite for dinner and pretty much jumped straight on the sim rig to get a bit of practice in. And then I'm um, to get into the server and start recording. Oh, sorry about that, big yawn. I'm a bit tired. Just done two day shifts, so. A bit buggered at the moment. What's going on here? They must be doing another full reset. So, yeah, not sure what's going on. 
or so early. I'm really hoping they're not going to have a massive amount of um, cautions in this session. So we're going to be in the A main, but we're going to be starting right down the back of the grid. So hopefully we can um, grab that inside line and actually make something work down there. We'll quickly work out, I'm thinking, um, 35 laps times 0 0.6 is 21 gallons plus pace laps so I'm thinking we're gonna need at least oh. pace laps should only take a couple of gallons so I'm thinking 24 gallons should be enough really but I really don't know to be honest I'll just have to wait and see I suppose we'll wait and see once we get to the race so like doing a full another full reset so anything is back on top spot there we get ready to go green again this time there we go green they're off so sean's got another ripper start down the inside wow and another massive wreck going into one not sure who that was uh one of the race on oz boys not sure it was luke or zach but one of them just went in there way too hard and just drilled a couple of cars then. I think yeah, it looked like it was Zach actually. So we'll slow it down and take it into TV1. So we've got a better view. A pretty good start, but he's just... There's nothing there for him. He's straight to the inside of the 99. The 99 slid up. Three other cars have been caught up in that behind. So fortunately, they're going to probably do another full reset here. Have to go back to Anthony Green. That's our second restart, so I don't think they'll be doing any more courses after this. So we're just have to gonna have to wait and see, I suppose. So I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, they're off now, so I have to wait and see what's going on. So it looks like Sean's going to be starting in front at the moment, so it's going to be a reset. Still seven guys on track. I'm not sure if the other guys are going to be back out or not. They've already had the one reset, so I'm not sure exactly what the rules are for this session. So Sean will be in first. Anthony starting in second. Looks like Luke Muir, Steve Cass, Alan Salit, Brian Shepard, Zach Masters. I think that'll be it. There's no one else on track. No, there's not. So it's only seven guys at the moment quickly go and have a look at how many guys actually get the right thing up started the race there's 11 there's only seven left so there's a few guys are still trying to work out where they are on track at the moment they might be actually coming back into the race um, so Brian Shepard's there Steve Cast is still there they're gonna pull up on the front straight again Alan was removed from the server for some reason. Okay. Not sure what's going on there, but I don't know they're off again. So we've got Steve there in the pace truck. We've got one of the guys on the front straight here, who's that Zach? They can't get the cars turned. These cars don't like going right. So if you can't get the car straight. We'll point it to the right before you take off. The car's just going to go straight left and you can't turn. As you see with me in heat one and well, our first heat and our second heat that we raced in, we just full lock right and the car still wants to go left. So we're going to come up on the start now. So there's only six cars left in this, so it's the top four that goes through to the A main. Let's see if Anthony can get a good start here. So they're going to go double file again. So they're green. Off they go. Anthony's got a better start this time. Hopefully it's clean behind. It looks like it's clean so far. Sean's right behind him. I'm not letting him get away. Very close there. Top two. Oh, and there's a spin R39 spun. 
Is he going to keep it going though? He has. So let's go back to the front. Steve Cast is down the inside of Sean O'Hara now. With Duke Newell just behind. He's got to, I've got to remember, it's only the top four that goes through. So there's no point pushing too hard now and, you know, wrecking out. To stay inside that top four. Get a safe spot. Inside that A from A main, the feature. Looks like Luke's still running the low line. Sean's still running the high line. And there's 0 2 4 there. Luke still, still trying try on that low line there in the triple five. Just behind Steve in the 98. Just behind him was a 95 and sack. He's going to make it through to the A main. Brian Shepard's all the way back in fifth. He's not really making any ground up at the moment. He's really struggling to be honest. He's got a lot of damage to the front end of that 410 sprint car. So Zach's still in fourth. Steve's still in third. Luke is still in second. He's still making ground on um, Sean, but as I said, they've got to remember they don't need to get the spot. They just need to stay where they are and finish the race cleanly. But Luke's going for it. Sean's staying. Look at that speed he gets around that high line. He just can't get the drive off because it's still pretty slick up there on the exit. Let's have a look um, on board here with Luke Muir. And here he's sort of work. Full throttle on exit. He's turning in. He's really completely off throttle there. Straighten the car up, power down, holding it back down low. Let's go back look at Sean. He's coming up on lap traffic. You see Luke just ahead there. He's taking the lead off Sean. He's still running that high line. He's running it really well. But you can see there once he gets off that corner, if you hit that slick stuff, he just wants to turn the car on exit. He's going to drop back to third now. Go back to TV3 view. He's just moved his wing back. Got to the outside wall. And he spun. So it's going to drop him back to fifth spot. And that's if... His car... Isn't too damaged for him to finish. So Luke... For race on Oz. The triple five. Moved his way up to first spot. He's done really, really well. Made a good pass there. The 98, the Steve Cast is in second. Anthony Green should be the 39 in third. The Zach Masters, the 95 in fourth. Brian Shepard in fifth. Still with a lot of damage, so he's not going to be able to make up the spots, I don't think, to get inside the top four. He's just going to hold on, though, and hope that somebody else spins out and drops behind him. That's all you can do, I suppose. Just wait and hope. So there goes the pace truck again, driven by Steve. It's going to take off, so there's still five contenders at the moment. Fortunately, Sean has just made a mistake there and he's out of the race. So Luke has got off to a pretty good start there. Oh, that was a huge push there for Steve. Got into turn one really hard. They're still running the low line. There's still a few guys up high, but I'm thinking the high line is not not going to be the way to go. I don't think in the A main. I think the low line is going to be going to be the spot. And then we go back to the sack in third. Brian is actually got up into fourth now, and Anthony's dropped all the way back to fifth. So I think this is where the battle is going to be at for that final spot in the A main. Sure, 13 6 last lap for Anthony, 13 1 for Brian Shepard, 13 3 for Anthony. So Anthony's still a little bit slower. Let's move through to the front now. So Steve's still in second spot just behind Luke Muir. Still battling away pretty well there. Luke's just dropped out. No, he's come back on. Having some technical difficulties there, Luke is. So white flag, can Luke hold on here for the win in the B main? Come around out of four now. Come across the start finish line to finish in first. Second is Steve. Zach's going to be third. Fourth is going to be Brian Shepard to get that final spot in the A main. And Anthony Green just going to miss out coming home in fifth spot. Ready, right, guys, we'll come back when we're ready to hit the A main. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back very, very soon. 
Hey guys, Brito here. Welcome back. We are for the A main. Yep, we're gonna go in the slap if everyone's happy. I think we're starting yep, with the It's exact distance catch up. I really have back. no idea oh, to be honest. Good to go. You're good. Come on, remember. <laughs> These things are. Hey, Mitch Simmons, seriously, dude, that's the one. second time you just belted into me. Oh, yeah, my car's damaged from that. Green. Bob, my car is damaged from when Mitch Simmons hit me at the start. Like, we were on the back straight when I was here. Caution, we got a car on the track. Is that on the back straight? It's a bit of a rough start. Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking reset button might work. You jump back to pitch, you quit, by the way. Yeah, I'm done. We're two laps in. Cheers, man. Thank you. Car outside. Yeah, I think that was looked like Mitchell right. computer was flashing really bad. Car yeah, he was flying. Car outside. Twenty-eight point two two. Wait, James, Robbie, were you in front of me, or I can't remember. All right, we're gonna. Car outside. You lining up? Car outside. Oh, I got no idea, man. Do you uh, go in front of me if you want. I'm sure, the ninety-six is yeah, doing. I think right. I had it. Yeah, he came right, straight. Did we go one lap or not, Ben? We went two. Oh, okay. All so right. this would be starting lap three. Yep, okay, we're gonna go into this lap. How is that fair? I'm getting smashed on a restart from someone's glitch. Car and now I'm... Um, oh, that's crap. I'm getting hit now. Yeah, my car was damaged going into turn one, mate, from it all. That's what I'm saying, like... And it was someone else's glitch. It wasn't my fault. Like, I've not ran into anyone, and it's, it's, it's obviously something that he can't control either. Yeah, um, oh look, everyone go back to the pits and get a car quick. Line up, you got one lap to line up. Oh, it's frustrating. Yeah, dude, I'm sorry if I got into you, I didn't think I did. My internet's fucking up again. Another one with the F-bombs. So you got a fresh car, everyone. Let's get the pace car keep moving so we don't have to try to turn again. Yeah. Yeah, just so crawl just along. Slow it, yeah, slow it down like 20 if you can. If not, just go as slow as you can with that. Wanting to Com kill you. Doesn't complete restart. Support. Sorry about that, guys. Just yes, complete restart. Those things, everyone. People just whinge, whinge, whinge till they get what they want. Minus. Who was flashing? Mitch Simmons. Yeah, Mitch. Damn, but Mitch is out. Everyone go around the inside. Car, car 78. Car I'm trying to argue, but why should it be a full restart? We did one lap. No, it probably shouldn't be, but we're gonna go do it again. Because you said it was before the racing started. Car inside. So the inside's moving up one, is it? Yep. Car inside. Car inside. 50.3 I. Car inside. Car inside. Hitting the ruts here and bounce around like that. There's a 96, so. Behind him. Alright, we're gonna go one more caution lap. Speed up a bit now, Steve. Still on the left. get another decent start. I think I had a pretty good start, but just we'll have to wait and see what happens, I suppose. Still on the left. Clear inside. Car inside. 41. This line is pretty on slick, so. Wings are smart back. Restart the laps. Clear inside. Yep. Getting ready to go Car green inside. this time. Still on the left. Clear inside. Clear car on bottom. Well, it's delayed. 24.7. Car outside, clear outside. 13.335. Car outside, car outside, clear outside. 13.043. Car inside. Oh, I'm going 
gonna be running the whole lot for a little while. Some caution. Uh, 21 ahead, I think, in the 11. Not sure what position we're in, I wouldn't have a bloody clue, but that was a pretty good start, I think. Four we're starting from. Can I get a confirmation of where my position would be when the caution came out? Yep, just a bit to find out now. No caution, got told. I didn't get. Came up on screen. Yep. Yeah, I don't see that. Who, who's the leader? Am I picking up? Josh Rogers. 92. So we go 92, 93. Car number 5, 41. 78. 11, 94, 21, 77, 2, triple 5, triple 7, not 77. Yeah, that's that's correct. Um, and double O, uh, 7, O double 7 is out. Yeah. 25, 96, 98, 093. 95, 26. Jump around me, Brad. Sorry, just a quick question. Where do you come from, Scott? After I'll be behind car 11. Well, I think you're in front of me, mate. Car outside. Car outside. Oh, they're all getting ready to go green again, hopefully. No idea how many laps I've got left, but... This is nuts. Done pretty good. People just got to take it steady and um, right, wait to get the power down. Wait to get the power down, I should say. Hopefully we can get the power down. Yeah, we're going to get the power down. Yeah, the guys just got out too late. Can't pass before the line as well. They shouldn't be. Pull in. Yeah, safety cars in line. Just not getting the same drive out of the bottom as I was before. Spinners don't get their spots back, do they? Nope. Good. Oh, someone hit me into the pits and I don't know who it was, so I'll just get out of the race. Oh, well, that's just rubbish. Slow car on bottom. Slow car on bottom. Need a better start this time. We're up into seventh. So we're doing pretty good. Do I get my spot back? I crashed into someone that had spun. Still out on nope. the track though. Nope. Big call your positions in a second. Shouldn't. 29.6. Hopefully not anyway. Oh. How much fuel we got left? It's all 21 gallons, so we should have plenty. Alright, so we got car 92, car 93, car 11. Car 5, car 41, car Sorry. 94. Yes, is your car still good? You're still good to go. I 
on me out, I got hit upside down and I couldn't yeah. get back on to my oh, Okay, wheel. okay, I'm coming through that right So, mine, car 41's car out, car 94, car 78 is out, car 21, triple seven, 25, 98, car number two, Still in right car spot, 96, Car 95 and car 26. That is your order. Okay, if you're all in that order, we'll go green this lap. Steve. In. Starting four, car three, lap number seven, four. 10. So 25 to go. <laughs> We're getting close. Ready when you are. Slide there into one. Get consistent back again. Caution. Catch these guys ahead. Well, we're up to fifth, so we're doing okay on the restarts. So the 98's out at the moment, stuck on the inside wall. Car inside. Clear inside. Still the leader. Sick. Yep. Ah, uh, no. No, car 93, Schultz. Ooh, top 5, guys. So there's car 93. Car 92. Apologise for getting quiet, just trying to concentrate a bit. Car 11, 21, triple 7, 5, 25, 94, 98. Unless he's going back to pits. I'm not in the pit. You still going? Right, 96. 2. 30, 95. And 26. What lap number? 15. Ooh. 20 Can to you go. you say what number I was behind, Ben? 94 is behind. Uh, number 25. Thanks. Five to go with 20 laps, so we've still got time to get to the front. We just All need right, to um, All right, we're get gonna consistent go green again. This lap. Try not to push too hard. It's pretty and slick and two, bloody one, challenging. Two, three, eight. So there's a little bit of grip here again.
Tacky stuff still here in the middle. Flag, have plenty of fuel left over, I think. We've come across the line in third, I think we are. There we go, guys. It's going to be the end of the race. Bit of a donut, a bit, bit of a spin. Just a, oh, just a celebrate. Over, over. Yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed uh, that. Yeah, if you did, that to smash that like button. <laughs> try and get Man, rid of this. Like it is a handful. Extra sound, That's enough. Come on. Yeah, so if you enjoyed that, guys, smash that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know how we thought we did. We did really bloody well, in my opinion. We went from 14th to 3rd. So we gained 11 positions in the A main. Now, I had way too much fuel, but I wasn't to know. So I think I had like 20 six gallons in so probably way too much but if you enjoyed it leave a comment as i said um and if you haven't subscribed already please do so to continue to follow our iRacing dirt action here on iRacing.com it's been Brito's Gaming thanks for watching we'll see you again soon